Welcome to my channel. I'm Stephanie Cole and this is Stephanie Cole Over 50 Living. Today we are going to be making soups. Actually I've been making soups for the last few days and my thought process is taking nice yummy winter hearty soups but making them quick and easy. So we are going to be making a French lentil soup. We are going to be making a chicken tortilla soup and we are also going to be making probably one of the fastest and easiest yet really good tomato soup that I always make when we are doing grilled cheese. So I hope you join me. Let's get going. All right, so here is what you're going to need for the soup. I like this soup because it's a pantry soup. So we're gonna have our chicken stock, we are going to have a roasted red bell peppers. I just got the uh, jar of it and just drained and rinsed. I have four cups of whole and diced tomatoes. I usually use just whole tomatoes, but I didn't have any, so I just used the whole and the diced. I have some thyme, some honey, some basil, two small onions or one large, and I'm going to use about a half of this bulb of garlic. So that is basically everything that's in the soup and it's really good. The first thing we're going to do is we are going to roast, and that's my little trick to give it a good depth of flavor. We are going to roast two onions or one large onion and some of the garlic. So what I have done is I have added olive oil and I have added salt and pepper and I am just making sure that the onions aren't in really large pieces. And I've got the garlic in here. And everything has olive oil on it, but it's not saturated. It's not, like it's not dripping. And then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna dump it on my already greased pan. There we go, oops, missed one. And we're gonna spread that out and we're gonna put it in the oven for about 25 minutes at 375. You want it to be soft, but not crispy. So that's what we're shooting for. While we are cooking the onion and the garlic, I am going to add four cups of the tomatoes. And like I said, I usually use whole tomatoes, but I didn't have any. I'm going to use 16 ounces of the diced and roasted red peppers. I'm going to use about a tablespoon of the honey. One container of organic broth. I already poured in half of the broth and then I'm saving it and as it cooks down, I will add more. The other thing I'm going to do is I am going to add about a handful of basil and a smaller handful of thyme. I've got the burner on medium heat. I'm going to cover the lid. When it starts to boil, then I will turn it down to low and we will just cook it until the onions and the garlic are done. The tomato mixture is cooking nicely and now I am going to add the mixture of the cooked or the roasted onions and garlic and I'm gonna add this in and then I'm going to bring this to a boil and then I am going to turn it down and let it simmer for 10 minutes. So now we blend. Now I'm gonna end this with a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, and give it a good mix. And that's it. It is fast, it is easy. The next day it's even better. So I hope you enjoy it, and I hope you give it a try. I am starting the soup with some avocado oil for the bottom and I am yes I hear you 
<laughs> I am going to start out with three celery, half of a large onion, and this, believe it or not, is only two carrots. The carrots were huge, and so um, I would suggest three carrots, and I just diced all that, and we are going to put it in the Instant Pot on saute. I hope you can hear over the sauteing sounds, but I am going to be crushing three cloves of garlic. potatoes that I've washed and chopped and I've chopped them fairly good size because I don't want them to lose their integrity and become all little bitty things so left them at a fairly good size. Now here are the lentils that I have soaked overnight and I'm going to add these in. Now I'm going to add some pepper but I'm not going to add the salt until the end like I usually do. Well that's not true. Some things I do add salt but the broth that I am using, the Better Than Boyan, has salt in it, so I do not want to over salt it. I'm going to add a heaping tablespoon of the Better Than Boyan, and this is the vegetarian. Now I'm going to do one very messy quart of vegetable stock and just a little bit of the water. I kind of want it where it's just covered. I don't want it too soupy. I want a thick, stewy kind of lentil soup. And then I'm going to add a bouquet garnet, which has sage, rosemary, and thyme. Put the lid on. I'm going to make sure it's sealed. I'm going to put this on manual for 15 minutes. Make sure it's sealed and it should be actually I'm gonna give it a couple more minutes because I always get nervous so 17 minutes I'm gonna let it cook at 17 minutes and then we will have it do a natural release to a pan with avocado or olive oil in it. I'm going to put a half of a large onion or one whole small onion diced, one whole red bell pepper that I have also diced, and then I'm going to do four of the garlic cloves, and I'm going to press those. I have the heat at medium. What I have here is salt, chili powder, cumin. I will give you the exact amounts in the description box, but I'm going to add this all in right now. And I'm just going to let the spices get warm and bloom. And then I'm going to add one can of diced tomato, one four ounce can of diced mild green chilies and the juices. I'm also going to add in four cups of diced chicken. This is just a whole chicken that I had baked earlier. You could also use a rotisserie chicken or you could use, I would guess, probably about three chicken breasts just baked. And then I have some chicken broth and I am going to do a quart and a half if I don't burn myself. And the last thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to add a couple of pinches of pepper. And now we're just going to let this cook for about 20 minutes to a half hour. I've had the soup simmering for about 30 minutes and now I'm going to add one bunch of cilantro that has been cleaned and chopped and then I have a juice of two limes, but the lime, I would usually just use one, but because my limes were really dry, I decided to use two.
As we were cooking, I forgot to put in the one cup of frozen corn, and I did that, and the soup is all ready. So now I am just going to add the tortilla chips, some sour cream, and cheese. I just want to say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Give one of those soups, or all three of the soups, a try. They are really tasty. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And until next time, bye.